Coming up on Geek News, Master Chief shoots down Hollywood's box office. A look at how you can pimp out your iPhone. And the launch of a real X-Wing. Well, sort of. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the first official newscast for GeekNews.com. It's the new media news magazine program that covers tech, fanboy gaming, and online culture. Pretty much everything a 35-year-old still living with their parents covets. It's news that matters. Oh, there's some people anyway. I'm new media geek Steve, and also I'm one of the few within the vocal silent majority, an oxymoron when you come to think about it, that's less than surprised at the recent outing by J.K. Rowling's in regards to Grand Wizard Dumbledore being... Yeah, gay. It's caused quite the ruckus online, to say the least. And it's what happens when you find out that a fictionalized character who happens to be the headmaster in the highly popular Harry Potter series is, well, a uh, real headmaster. So with that in mind, we've got an outing of our own. And horror fans, it's a shocker. Yep, it's Jason Voorhees, the famous hockey mask slasher from the Friday the 13th flicks. He actually plays for the other team we found. Here's the video courtesy of InvisibleEngine.com showing the psychopath in bed with Michael Myers of Halloween fame, of all people. And that's after a night of playing Hide the Purple Machete. That's, uh, that's, that's really disturbing. Now to our top story, Bungie's Halo 3 has proved to be just more than a grandiose first-person shooter. It's also propelled sales of the Xbox 360 into the stratosphere. But there's been a cash casualty coming from California that's had movie studios getting caught in the Halo crossfire. And here's the scoop. Hollywood insiders are scratching their heads at the Halo 3 phenomenon, according to Gamasutra.com. Now, some of Tinseltown's bigwigs are blaming lackluster ticket sales at the box office in early October squarely at the feet of the Halo 3 launch. And by warthogs, they could be right. The Master Chief Trilogy capper pulled in over 300 million bucks in its first week of release, while movie ticket sales plummeted to an eight-year October revenue low at only 80 million bucks in all. We can't explain the discrepancies involving the Halo 3 hype, but the hoedown gang at Sarcastic Gamer can. Yeah, the world will be a better place to be when that third game with Master Chief's released. Michael Vick will stop abusing, Barry Bonds will stop the juicing when Bungie finally gives us Halo 3. North Korea will appease us, Lindsay Lohan will find Jesus when Bungie finally gives us Halo 3. Hope this doesn't bring back any acid trip memories for fans of the Rubik's Cube, as it did for yours truly. Behold, the latest creation by New Zealander Julian Oliver, an interactive cube game called Levelhead. The Square Gizmo uses ingrained software to detect the motion of the gizmo by the user, which then correlates with cameras to bring forth the images you see on its surface. As for the gameplay specs, pretty simple. Just maneuver the little CG guy through his virtual surroundings by manipulating the cube. This takes off, look for it to be huge with the married female demographic. Singapore Airlines has just made it easier to join the Mile High Club, which should be good for some of us, and in style no less with the launch of its new super first class double decker Airbus A380. The new wing luxury liners are touted as the largest commercial airplanes in the world. Sporting Trent 900 Rolls Royce engines, the huge flyers pack a power punch on liftoff but cut down on noise emissions thanks to the latest installs in turbine technology. No need to worry about legroom in these ginormous puppies either. The Airbus seats 471 passengers, even though it could hold close to double that in travelers, accenting the luxury angle. The A380 includes 12 enclosed suites that feature a bed, a 23-inch LCD flat-screen TV, as well as a selection of over 100 film titles to choose from. Oh, and as an added bonus, luxury class peeps have access to a window seat. And that's when they're using the toilet. Here's As It Happens Viral from California of an F-A-18 Hornet skimming the surface of a harbor, causing a vapor cone trail. The spectacle was captured during Fleet Week in San Francisco as Blue Angel Navy Flight Squadron 
wowed the crowd in high gear. Cool. Steve Jobs and company have added a new directory to kick more bling into the iPhone ring. The list of HackerS installs can be found at the home of Apple HQ Online, which currently boasts over 200 different applications that should keep iPhoneites busy. The utilities range from a Facebook add-on to various game faves like Bejeweled and Sudoku, but try as we might, we still couldn't find the ever-elusive X-Ray install as witnessed here. X-Ray your hand or whatever else you want to X-Ray. And we didn't have luck coming up with the iBeer add-on either. Which was a letdown for some of our Geek News crew that wanted to show off the app at their next AA meeting. Captain to Galileo. All systems cleared for takeoff. Hardcore Trekkers can now put their plasmas to good use with the advent of the HD DVD release of Star Trek Season 1, boldly beaming to shelves of video outlets November 20th. The 5 this HD DVD and standard DVD remastered set features new visual effects made specifically for the re-release. I still love them green chicks in high def, don't you think? On a promotional swing, fanboys of Spock and Kirk can get a sneak peek at the revamped original Red Shirt series on November 13th as the Menagerie hits theaters nationwide for a one-night-only event. If you want more info, check FathomEvents.com for theater listings and showtimes. The location, Plaster City, California, where rocket engineers from around the globe witness Polecat Aerospace Techs blast a 21-foot working model X-Wing fighter into the stratosphere. Unfortunately, what took months to create took only seconds to vaporize. No one really knew what caused the explosion until the video tech gurus at KingFilms.com unraveled the mystery with this footage. I knew it! Damn Empire! You know, this, this Sith on Jedi violence just gotta stop. Just ridiculous. At any rate, that about wraps it up on our end. Here's what's coming up in our next episode. Geek News gives you the scoop on the Microsoft quarter billion dollar poke to Facebook. We've got a one-on-one -on -one with 60 billion dollar man Bill Gates talking about musical social networking. And music is about discovery. And... Just in time for Christmas, a look at geekware that makes a great cell phone stocking stuffer. And it's for the ladies. Moms, they don't count. And we have all that and more on the next Geek News, so keep it right here, okay? Remember to comment, embed, tell your friends, and above all, support indie productions on the web. We never go on strike. I'm Steve, it's been a blast. We'll leave you now with some more Halo-inspired tunage this time with a boy band feel via superdeluxe.com. It's Team Tiger Awesome with Halo Knights. Catch you later. Geek this.